la 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 <laughs> that's called untoned i love to sing but my ability to sing will never win a singing competition but here I am in my music room with my piano and all of my uh, favourite musical items. That, uh, I have a collection and I love them uh, because they, apart from the fact that I love music, they remind me of a, one of the biggest myths uh, when it comes to exercise and being healthy, fit and strong and something that uh, probably screwed up my life for quite a while. We talk about toned muscles, particularly women. I want to be toned. Well, my la 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 is untoned. And tone should be related to music. And wouldn't it be nice for people to sing in tone? But muscles, they are a living, breathing organism that cannot be untoned or toned. They are simply weak or strong. And if you're a bloke, of course, you have the privilege of being able to grow some more. So you can have small muscles or big muscles, as women, we have weak muscles or strong muscles or stronger muscles, but we don't have untoned muscles because all muscle has blood supply, oxygen supply, and that's the only way we move around. Whether it's your eyelids blinking, your fingers moving, your voice singing, or lifting something heavy or sprinting, all of that requires muscle involvement, muscle contraction, muscles working, and a muscle is the reason we can move around all of our muscles. So they can't be untoned. They can definitely be weak if we don't use them, and they can definitely get stronger if we use them. Isn't that exciting? So why do we relate tone, muscle, to women? And when I first came into the exercise profession, because I didn't know my anatomy and physiology, and I, I just believed everybody's opinions, all the experts with all their great opinions, and we talked about then toned muscles, uh, it was always light weights for toning, heavy weights for strength or heavy weights for big muscles. But if you just want to have a nice toned body, then you do light weights for toning. Well, that's what screwed me up because those light weights for toning, as a woman, and if you are a woman, if you have women in your life, we're all the same. We grow a certain amount of muscle until a certain age, men and women. But women, because we don't have a large amount of testosterone, in fact, only a tiny amount, because testosterone is predominantly produced in the testicles. Women, we don't have any. Uh, so our testosterone levels are very low. We have a tiny amount in our ovaries, which it means our ability to build muscle, big muscle, is not possible. Uh, if you inject testosterone, and that's when you see really big women with really big muscles, they didn't grow them by themselves. They trained really hard, yes, and they lifted really heavy, yes, but they added uh, that in injection of uh, external testosterone to get really big muscles. So what's that got to do with toned muscles? I don't want to have untoned, for the, and I hate that word because it's so... Uh, it's misleading. I want to have strong muscles that are firm to touch. And I think that's where the word tone comes from. But that comes from having a strong muscle. So up until a certain age, we all get a certain amount. Men have the ability to build more. Women, all we have is the ability to maintain what we've been given. Isn't that exciting? We can maintain it for our entire lives. So most women, as we get older, we lose muscle tissue. So our metabolism slows down. We have to eat less food. We don't have as much energy. We can't, we can't do the stuff that we want to do because our muscles are wasting away. They're getting weaker, but only because we let them. So why do we bloody let them? What a great question. If you maintain your muscle strength, and that just comes from overload. So if you keep doing the same thing over and over, you don't put pressure on your muscles, you don't put pressure on your bones, you don't put pressure on your body, so you don't get any stronger. The only reason we get stronger or maintain the muscle that we've got is if we overload it and we force it to stay strong. So that great expression, if you don't use it, you will lose it. I like the opposite. I'm going to use it so I don't lose it. So I'm constantly thinking about how can I maintain my muscle and keep it for the rest of my life so that I'm strong, I have a fast metabolism, I feel good because when you overload your muscles, when you lift really heavy, you produce all those brain chemicals that make you feel good as well. And I'll just a reminder because I know that I bang on about it every day, but what's the connection between strong muscles and a happy brain? is if I've got strong muscles, I can only get that by overloading my muscles. The ultimate overload is 100% effort, and the 100% effort comes in the fight and flight system, in the phosphate energy system, which is work at 100% effort. So if I lift at 100% effort, 
if I sprint at 100% effort, I then have this brain chemical change that says, if you're gonna do that to us again, if you're gonna force our body to lift, if you're, Rowie, if you're gonna force your body to lift heavy, if you're gonna force your body to run away from a wild animal, you have to be faster next time, you have to be stronger next time, because what if the animal's bigger or, or scarier or, or more wild? Uh, but I can't sprint if I'm not strong, isn't that interesting? So it doesn't matter how fit I get, if I haven't got strong muscles and bones, I can't sprint away anyway. So I'm constantly thinking about how can I maintain my strong muscles, not toned, not tight, not hard, just strong, because a strong muscle with oxygen supply, blood supply and strong, it's gonna be firm to touch, of course. Now a weak muscle's not soft to touch, it's the fat on top because obviously if you have a slow metabolism uh, and you, you burn calories slower, you're more likely to get fat. So the stuff that sits between your skin and your muscle is fat and that is soft to touch. Muscle is never soft to touch. Even if it's weak, it's still a firm substance. But I don't want to have weak muscles, I want to have strong ones so I can sprint, so I can lift heavy. And the connection there is you can't lift heavy, you can't be strong if you don't lift heavy, and you can't sprint, you can't overload your heart and lungs effectively if you've got weak muscles. So the whole thing comes together beautifully. You've been given a certain amount of muscle, whatever that is. Now some women have more muscle, we've just been given genetically more muscle, and I always have a joke about that, because I've got very large calf muscles, the lower part of my leg is large. Now that's not because I do calf raises, it's not because I work my calf muscles, it's because genetically I have large calf muscles. Uh, I've, my, fun, my funnest story for that is I was on the beach one day on the Gold Coast and a young child yells out, look at the lady with the boy's legs. And I don't find that offensive in any, in any way, shape or form because there are many times in my life uh, genetically because of muscle that I wish I was a bloke because bloke can build more blokes can build more muscle which means they have faster metabolisms which means they can be even stronger which means their life can be even better that's the testosterone thing but that's because again biologically men were still designed to be hunters to run away from the animal fight the animal kill the animal feed the family as women we are just given a certain amount of muscle and what we do with it now is completely up to us so you get to choose, am I gonna have weak muscle or strong muscle? And I'm, am I gonna let my muscles waste away or I'm gonna make sure that I maintain them so that I can have a fast metabolism, a strong body, a body that if I fall over, I can get back up again really quickly, a body that's got a strong immune system because your immune system is built inside your bones and this is a beautiful connection. Immune system is inside your bones. When you've got strong muscles, they pull on your bones, which means you've got strong bones. So strong muscles means strong bones, means a strong immune system. So your likelihood to get sick, get diseased, your ability to fight germs, bugs and viruses, everything works better when you're strong. So it's not about toned muscles, it's about strong muscles. And when I come into my music room, I love, that's what it reminds me of. So I sing loudly every day, as you know, I'm happy to sing even though I'm untoned, but my muscles will never be untoned. I just wanna have strong muscles for the rest of my life so I can do all the things that I wanna do, so that I can live my life to the max, how about you? Do you want to have a body that has a fast metabolism, can fight germs, bugs, viruses and diseases, gives you a happy, strong, positive brain and make sure that you can live your life to the max so you can sing even if it is untoned. I love my life, na 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 na, I love my life, woohoo!